We all know exoterras make really, really good tarantula enclosures. But there are other enclosures that can be used, and we've got five today. We're going to review them all and show you, are exoterras really the best? Welcome back to the channel guys, and if you're new around here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Welcome to 2021. We're going to start with the cheapest. I've done some uh, glitter work with me lads. I've got to clean up first. There's one. There's two. These are the Mantis Den enclosures. They come in all various different shapes and sizes. This one has actually been discontinued, to be honest. It's just a top opening enclosure. These are actually made for praying mantises, but they can be reused for tarantulas. They're absolutely amazing. This one is a top opening, as you can tell, just there. We'll go through them all in detail perfectly fine, a bit closer to the time. This one is a front opening one. This is actually gonna get made up for, I would think I'm gonna do it up for morning gecko babies, I'm not too sure. But either way, this has got a big piece at the bottom just here, so you can have a fairly deep substrate inside there. They're not watertight, so you can't fill them full of water and make a paludarium unless you actually seal them, which is what I tend to do, which is what I did with this one here, but because I made this one into a bioactive praying mantis enclosure. I still haven't put a praying mantis in there, 2021 may see a new pet coming here. I do tend to make these enclosures and then forget that I've made them. But the joy with these enclosures, they actually come to you flat packed. So it's just all flat. And you've got all these little corner pieces and the screws and you've got a couple of different mesh tops you can use. This one is a stainless steel mesh. This one is a fabric mesh. It just depends on what species you want to actually put inside these enclosures. They both come with every enclosure that you get. All you need to do is get the tools that are provided and you can fit it together. But that is so sturdy, so robust. You can't go wrong with it. For the price wise, I'm not 100% clued up. There's the business card. Pray, uh, do, 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 mantisden.co.uk. They're also on Facebook. All their links will be in the description down below if you do want to check them out. But I think this little one only costs around about £15. The big ones, this isn't even the big one, I don't think. This is like the sort of middle size, but the big ones only cost around about £30 as well. But that is the Mantis Den enclosures. I absolutely love how sturdy they are. Shall we move on to the next? Tropical tube. This comes from a company called Tropical Factory UK. It's a cylindrical tube with a full 365 degree range. It's got a magnetized lid so you can just put all your animals, all your stuff in there, all your decor and just take the lid off and it's a stainless steel mesh on the top. Look, you can still see my ugly face through it. Uh, we've got little tiny vents that just run that far around the back of the enclosure. Now is that the back of the enclosure? Is that the front of the enclosure? It doesn't matter because you've got a full 365 degree view of whatever species you want to put in there. I absolutely love these for one reason and one reason only, the 365. So you can get yourself a Lazy Susan off Amazon for £3.99, drop it on the top and then stick it in the, like a centerpiece in a window ledge or something like that. Temperature pending, depending on the species you're putting inside it and stuff like that. And if it gets a bit too much or you get a bit bored of that angle, you can just spin it and then you've got a whole different angle. So you can do like a rock work sort of centerpiece inside the enclosure with or some branches going around and just leave the animal in there. It'd be good for praying mantis. It'll be good for basically anything. There is one hiccup I'm not a fan of with this enclosure and this is me just being totally honest. I've not been paid to do any of this. Um, it's the lid. Now the lid comes off, just totally comes off. Now the thing I don't like with that is for the high webbing, tarantulas that are arboreal so if they do so happen to web from the side to the lid are you going to be able to get the lid off to be able to feed and stuff like that that's my only sort of concern with one of these however just look at them they're absolutely beautiful uh, so i wouldn't put a high webbing arboreal tarantula in this but I will use it for a wide variety of different things. That would be nice for the morning gecko enclosures, that would be nice for normal tarantulas, it would be nice for sun beetles, it would be nice for African beetle species, the praying mantis, it would be absolutely amazing. I'm still in two minds on what to actually use for this enclosure. I am thinking of starting to breed my sun beetles again, and they would just look absolutely beautiful in here, with like the, all the log work in there, 
old rot and decay and big chunks of wood going up the side. Not like round wood or anything, just, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. But I think you can pick these up from Tropical Factory UK. Again, they're on Facebook. Again, they've got the website. All the links will be in the description down below. But I think these are around about £27.99. Sometimes there is deals on, sometimes there's not. Check them out on the Facebook page. Check them out on the website if you're interested in one of these. <laughs> Just a quick break on today's video to thank our sponsor, Fantastic Tarantulas. If you're interested in the rare or the more eclectic species of tarantulas, Fantastic Tarantulas have got you covered. They breed a load of different rare species of tarantulas and they also have a load of merchandise to go with it. If they don't have the tarantulas themselves, they will know where to get one for you. Check them out on Facebook. All their links are in the description down below. Once again, thank you to Fantastic Tarantulas for sponsoring today's video. I've just thought, this guy isn't the cheapest enclosure you can have for a tarantula. These are, what are these? Just plastic tubs. You see a lot of big sort of collectors of tarantulas and invertebrates. They tend to use these little like blast plast tubs, which again, the blast plast tubs, you can pick them up for like £3.99 or it, you can buy them in wholesale cost for, or in bulk for a lot cheaper. But the joy with these is the list. Now there isn't a tarantula in here. This is actually my isopod breeding colony. But you've got your lid and only what you can open just one side the small side you can open the big side so if you are a bit skittish or you don't want the animal to bolt out or babies or whatever you can just lift the side up and drop the water dish and stuff like that so they are a great little um tarantula enclosure you've got loads of little tiny ventilation holes already built in with the actual enclosures you can get them in different sizes as well i think this is the 1.2 liter and you can also get a three point something liter i don't know <clears throat> i personally am not a fan Massively, I say that, but then we've got tubs like this, which is just a £3.99 tub from a local pound shop. Uh, there is some logic there. I'm, I'm a ginger man, leave me alone. Um, I've actually got a tarantula in here. It's not going to be in here for much longer, but I do actually have a Tlitli Catalabi Pelosum in here. Now, what have I done? Full substrate. It's got loads of ventilation, which I've put in the top already, but it is still just a plastic tub. I like my animals to have a display, a naturalistic to their natural habitat display piece and that's just one of the things I like about my animals it's not about the animal but it's about the whole environment that you can provide for that animal making it as naturalistic as possible so you can have that slice of nature in your home that's what I'm planning to do with my next enclosure that I'm about to review in a second but this is an option you can go down the ways you can add enrichment into this is the substrate layers the leaf litter the different hides the burrowing areas I've got one side of the enclosure extremely compact one side's not so that you can burrow down in different sides he just he, he moves around an awful lot. It's amazing for a Brachypalma species. That's not a Brachypalma species. It's a, a little little cow species. He's actually really active. The amount of people that say tarantulas hide up in one little hide and that's all they do. Give them their natural habitat, their natural enclosures, their natural UV lighting, their natural everything. They do move. They oh, he's flicking hairs. But that, that is my little cattle albiplossum tarantula enclosure now. However. January's enclosure build is for him. The next enclosure is this. This is my wow enclosure. <clears throat> if any enclosure is going to come close to the exoterrace, this is going to be it. And it's the price, everything, the quality, it's just a wow moment. Let me explain. So this is a Tropical Factory UK enclosure. It's the glass enclosure, glass on the top. We've got a big vented lid on the top, which is not like your normal fragile a mesh style lid. It's like a piece of metal with a ton of holes drilled in perfectly fine. It looks very professional. It is very professional. Glass all the way around. It's got an added piece down here where the air can flow up and under and through the vent on the inside. That will air circulate the inside and back out the top so we have a perfect air circulation throughout the entire enclosure. It's extremely high quality. That's the glass door so it slides up and out. It's all polished surfaces. It looks absolutely amazing it feels absolutely amazing the size wise is absolutely perfect i think this is a 30 centimeter wide 30 centimeter deep 20 centimeter tall tropical factory uk enclosure this is the enclosure that i'm going to be using for that one that you've just seen to replace that little stupid plastic tub this is the one we're going for we're going for a full naturalistic a Nicaraguan background, so we're going to be doing all the log work in there. It's possibly going to be a fake log work, so that video is coming out of the full build on this, this month. January, this is my project. We're going to be doing it where it's a naturalistic habitat for that species. So the Tlitli cattle, Albi Pelosum, lives in Nicaragua, 
its normal form anyway, and it lives in the bottom of tree roots. Do you know where the tree roots come down? Well, that's where its hides are, so we're planning on doing that inside this enclosure. I won't be able to find anything that's perfect size, so I'm gonna to have to make it all out of expanding foam and paints and everything. So you, if you wanna see this enclosure build, make sure you do hit that subscribe button, because I am blown away. The amount of thought that's gone into every little detail in this enclosure is just mind blowing. But this is the enclosure that I think is gonna come extremely close to Exoterra's. Why? Price. This is extremely cheap compared to the Exoterra's, but it's the quality is there. It's The quality is on par with the Exoterra's. There are a few different things to this, to the Exoterra's, like the Exoterra's you can take the tops off. However, some tarantula species are known to chew through the mesh on the top of the Exoterra's. They've taken that into consideration with this, with that higher gauge on the top. It's not mesh, it's that metal sheet with all the holes. It just looks absolutely perfect. The lid doesn't come off it, it is a front sliding door, so to get in and do stuff, especially building wise, it makes it a little bit tricky. The air goes in the bottom, out the top, straight out the top there. It's just, they've thought of absolutely everything. This is Tropical Factory UK. You can pick up this enclosure. I think this enclosure is around about 30 pound. That's how cheap this actually is. Again, all the links to this will be down in the description down below. I highly, highly rate this. And this is made by the same company that makes this. Amazing. And then onto the best ones. The Exoterras. Now, I could have got these down and put them on the desk and stuff like that. However, my big LP, that's out, so I want to sort of not disturb them too much and stuff like that. As you can tell, I love my Exoterras. That's my big morning gecko enclosure. That's a big morning gecko. Uh, that's a big morning gecko breeding facility. We've got these tarantula ones just here. I love Exoterras to the point where we've even got one down there, which we've got to build up to do a giveaway. Let's run through, if you don't know already, how good an Exoterra actually is. So... There's my big LP at the back, just there, hiding behind the live Pophos plants. For some reason, everyone says, tarantulas don't like light. I'm not being funny, he goes right up to the top of that glass and like basks underneath the light. So he does like the light, he's extremely active, he's amazing. But the best features of an Exoterra, one, you can get them in so many different sizes, as you can tell. Two, you've got this secure lock. Oh, there he goes, he's gone into his burrow. You've got this secure lock, so when you have shut the doors, you can see the lock, Oh, hello mate. You can see the lock goes in and out. That just secures it like that. You've got your air circulation through here and out through the mesh on the top. Obviously, that's a bit dirty. This one, I need to get a new mesh because I've just bodged together something to keep a little higher humidity in there, which is wrong, I shouldn't do that, I know. It looks kind of like that, or kind of like that mesh when you actually do get them. You've got the half moons on the top, which you can twist and then the whole lid will come off. Like literally the entire lid will just come straight off. It's on all of the Exoterras, no matter what size Exoterra you actually get. They're a full glass enclosure, cool little black feet. The joy with the black feet, you can get airflow going underneath the enclosure, which just keeps it nice and cool. But it also means in the winter, if you want to put a heating pad under there, you know, something like the Reptile Systems heating pad with a the thermostat, you can do that on these enclosures. You can pretty much do absolutely anything. As you can tell, with all the Hydra Bulls in all of my enclosures, they are really, really good at making them watertight to the point where I've even got a pond in this one. So they are totally watertight. They are totally water sealable. You can buy all the spares. They're just absolutely amazing. But Exoterras can be expensive. I think these little ones, 30, 30, 30 squares, are around about 50 pound. I know that one just there, the brand spanking new one, that's 30, 30, 60 tall. That was 67 pound. So you do get a variety of sizes and they are slightly more expensive, but are they the best? Leave it in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts.